everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are gonna be talking about a very interesting topic, but with a little bit of a twist. We are gonna be recovering the MRR courses and we're gonna talk about it from a multi-level marketing standpoint. MRR stands for Master Resale Rate. So that is essentially a course that is being sold to you. You can buy it to learn something. It really can depend on what you're learning. Who knows what the hell you're learning in that. And then you essentially are buying it and have the rights to resell it against you make 100% profit. It has been literally all over TikTok recently. And honestly, it is such a problem that a lot of people do not realize. Now on the flip side, we have the multi-level marketing companies where multi-level marketing companies such as Monet, Arbonne, et cetera, essentially have a problematic aspect of them where they sell business opportunities. Now the worlds are colliding essentially because we are coming across teams who are trying to market off selling MRR courses to their downlines. Now there's many reasons why this is problematic, but essentially in my opinion, this is a absolute money pit. What we're going to do is we're going to actually react to a call of a MLM leader and actual crypto MLM leaders that we've talked about on this channel, pushing and presenting this entire concept to their team allegedly. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below if you're interested in learning about scams, problematic companies, and so much more. Don't forget to check out my merch podcast, second channel, TikTok and Instagram if you guys want to hang out with me more on many other areas. And now without further ado, let's get into it. Real quickly though, I do want to pause and take a moment to think today sponsor. So real quickly, I want to talk about hair and hair care routine. Okay. So I am literally obsessed with cell care, taking care of my hair and finding the absolute perfect routine for my hair. However, a lot of you guys probably can relate when I say that finding a hair care routine that works for you is so difficult. It could just be really difficult to find out exactly what you need, what's going to work for you and so much more. And figuring that out takes a lot of trial and error. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you had a brand that would do literally all of the research for you when it comes to hair care, they come customize a hair care routine specifically for you, have it shipped to your door and you wouldn't even have to leave the house? Well, how convenient, let me tell you about MD Hair. Now, if you guys don't know, MD Hair is the world's first medical grade hair growth treatment, customized to the exact cause and type of hair loss. So the website is really convenient. All you have to do is fill out a really quick quiz to figure out what is perfect for your hair. And they also do a scalp analysis where they use AI technology to figure out what your hair and scalp are needing. I'm able to submit the photo, my quiz, and I can get a perfectly customized hair care routine just for me. So not only do they have a customized shampoo and conditioner set, they additionally got me a customized hair serum. And if you guys don't know, I am obsessed with hair serums. My hair feels incredibly soft from it. Additionally, they make customized hair care supplements even to just go take it a step further, which I thought was amazing. Now there's so many reasons why I love MD Hair from the clinically proven results to the absolute ease and customization perfectly for you. There's many reasons to love MD Hair. You can't just take my word for it. You guys have to go try it out for yourself. So go down to the link in the description below or pin comment and use the code LANTER70 to get 70% off of your first month subscription and customize your hair growth treatment with MD Hair. Thank you so much to MD Hair for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into it. Fate of people that I know when it comes to branding, okay? Every time, this is one of the girls that cannot follow the crowd. She always has to reinvent the wheel. You will not catch her copy pasting people's reels because she has to literally reinvent the wheel every time. Uh, I call her a marketing genius because she really is that. She always is thinking of something different and how to relay a message. In a I have to give some other little preface information before we get into this. Again, for those of you who do not know. So I'm currently talking and showing you guys a call and a team call hosted by some people I have covered before. If you guys don't know, to the left is an individual named Dre, to the right is an individual named Jasmine. We'll see other people pop up and I will introduce them, okay? So these are individuals who are part of a multi-level marketing company called iGenius. It is a highly problematic company from what I personally seen. I've covered them in videos in the past. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have them in the description below. This is a really, really big problem because we've caught these individuals, in my opinion, marketing off a lot of false things, false advertising, their company in general, also pushing their downlines to do things that are completely unethical and also not healthy for them. Again, a wonderful example of this team. If you guys are more curious, I want to see the most culty call ever. I will have it pop up over here. It's a long one, but seriously, it's so good. Anyways, this is a team call that they're having with their downline, essentially in the multi-level marketing company talking about MRR. So let's get into it. A different way. And so she is the branding queen. So please welcome to the Zoom stage, Jasmine Elizabeth. <laughs> I guess I want to the chat for Jasmine Elizabeth, please. Hello, everybody. Oh my God. I'm so excited. This is our last pre-launch call before the big, big day, you guys. 
And something that I'm literally obsessing over is this newest business model that just got launched into the online world, okay? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard about it all before. Some of you guys are already involved in this industry and I am here to give you guys and serve you guys and like help you guys out with elevating your online business, okay? So whether it's, you know, you're, you're in network marketing, affiliate marketing, digital marketing, I have been researching, okay? Um, the digital marketing world for a couple of months now. And I'm just like kind of looking around and I'm like, wow, like this industry has literally grown in like seconds. And so many people are having success and not just little success, but massive success. It's insane. Uh, at first I'm like, no, there's no way these girls are lying. Like they are just lying and they're just putting numbers on their, on their stories and they're just lying. There's no way. And uh, until my best friend, uh, she got started, okay, and uh, she the, she's gonna talk about how she how much money she made in a short period of time in this industry. And my best friend, okay, my best friend is Dre, the one that you guys just talked to, and she was the one that really inspired me and and opened my eyes to this industry. And that's because Dre don't lie, okay. If there's one thing that Dre does not do is she does not lie about numbers, okay. She is such an ethical person. If one thing I'm gonna tell you right now. This, in my opinion, is the biggest crock of shit on this fucking planet, okay? Again, I have a plethora of videos on my channel completely showing how these individuals are highly unethical. If you massively pro promote an MLM as a great source of income, statistically, that is incorrect. The FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, literally says that no matter how hard you work, no matter what you do, most people in MLMs and the multi-level marketing world will not make anything or if anything, lose. So when the FTC agrees with me and you deny facts because these people have seen my videos and said I'm a fucking liar and just hater, that is not an ethical thing to be pushing, okay? I'm gonna, I'm, I understand people that fall into it, but when you keep getting put the evidence in front of you at this point, these individuals in my opinion are not ethical, okay? So I'm sorry, this whole, we've been researching, we're so ethical, la 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 la, absolutely not. No, I pfft. you guys know who Dre is? She is super ethical. So for sure, when I seen the numbers, I was like, okay, this is real, okay? But the thing is, I see a lot of people, you know, in this industry wanting to have massive success, but they are struggling. And I know exactly why people are struggling to have success. And it's because of their branding. Okay. I had someone ask me like, uh, like advice on digital products. Like, how do you, like, you know, how would you create a digital product? And I said, girl, you don't got to worry about that right now. What you got to worry about is building a powerful brand. Because once you build a brand, you can literally sell whatever you want online. It does not matter why, because you have the influence, you have, you have the inspiration. People are inspired by you. People value you as a person. Okay, let's stop this right here. So again, this video is mainly covering the multi-level marketing aspect of this as well, but there's some points that she's gonna bring up that have nothing to do with it. So I'm gonna pull up two points here that I think are really significant. One, when it comes to being a content creator, there is a very toxic reality. And again, I've called this out before on my Instagram. I don't give a shit if this is what I do for a living and I'm technically falling under the category of influencer and content creator. This is my full-time income, right? There are a shit ton of people and I don't care who this pisses off. I will say this forever. There are a decent amount of people who fall under that category as well and are content creators like myself who fucking suck. And if any category, anything, okay? Like this isn't just in mind. I'm talking about content creators in general. There are individuals who take advantage of the influencer job. The influencer job originally started with the concept of a real person sharing what they loved. A lot of people like watching them because they were entertaining and fun. And there is a real individual behind the screen. Now it's kind of shifted to where, well, yes, there's people who are real, of course, like I'm not dogging on that, but there's still an aspect and group of individuals who will get on this internet and because they have an influence, they don't give a fuck and they will sell out so fast. They will sell you anything. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? And that is a problem. That's not something to be proud of. I don't really give a fuck if you have a good brand or if you're a funny person. If you're constantly being an awful individual and like selling a scam to someone, for example, misleading people and so much more, that is not cool. That's not funny. And talk 
talking about, well, you can sell anything. That's not ethical or that's not even logical in any capacity. So the fact that they're talking about being ethical doesn't work in the slightest. One thing too that I wanna point out that's more on the multi-level marketing side of this is when you talk about selling the multi-level marketing concept, like, oh, buy my product or join my team, right? Which is what we usually see, you know, the Hey Girl DMs and like, join my team and business opportunity, right? That shit is annoying no matter what, okay? We're hitting a point now where I think a lot of MLM stuff is having to get super duper creative because a lot of people are tired of the regular Hey Girl message bullshit that is trying to suck you in a, a scam. You know what I mean? It's still difficult. Can people fall for it if they have no idea? Absolutely, but it's still difficult. And here's the thing, when you have so many people selling the exact same thing over and over and over again, that has no good results at all, except for the top 1% of people, it doesn't really matter what kind of brand you have. You know what I'm saying? And also take, for example, too, when it comes to a lot of these individuals, how they're pushing this stuff, they're not even pushing it ethically. They're not having enough evidence to back it up, et cetera. One point that I really wanna make as well is they're selling this to their downlines, okay? This is where this is so unethical. We have Jasmine, who is a top leader that has a decent amount of people underneath her in this MLM. This is a new additional stream of income because she can tell a bunch of people in her downline to purchase this course from her essentially and other people that are close to her. That is benefiting her, okay? She's making a decent amount of money off of that. Now she's benefiting off of the naive people in her downline. Problem is, is those naive people in her downline might buy it because they're like, oh my God, wait, I need to learn about branding. That makes sense. I need to be better. I need to become someone like Jasmine. Problem is, is a lot of the stuff in those courses are bullshit. That's just the reality of it. It's stuff you can find on YouTube or it's stuff that you should not be paying $500 for, which is how much these courses are usually running from what I'm seeing. It's not good, period, okay? So we have people that are naive in these downlines who are sitting here like, okay, well, I've got this information I'm learning, but still again, it's not enough for their industry. So not only are they going into the negatives because the MLM, but they're going into the negatives with this damn course that this asshole is selling to them. And it's not helping anyone period. So this is just a very negative cycle, constantly impacting people's financial situation on the claims of this is what's going to help you be successful. It is complete bullshit. And I think this is the hardest part about online with online entrepreneurs. This is what people, a lot of online entrepreneurs struggle with. Right. And there's there is a, a, a method to the madness. Right. There's a strategy. And if I could figure it out, you guys can figure it out, too. OK. And so we put something really amazing together for you guys. Um, I feel like we kind of like. Filled in the gap for <clears throat> for the online industry, OK, with what we are about to launch uh, in the next less than 24 hours. And we put together, OK, a course for you guys, but not just that. We put a branding course together attached with an income opportunity. What does that mean? So pretty much you get the course, okay? You get the course, you learn everything. We put up there, not even just branding. We have um, sales tips in there, how to make money uh, online through sales everything. And Dre's going to go through everything, a, a visual. Of now, real quickly, I want to say again, if someone is pitching this to their downlines, that is quick money for them. If a bunch of people fall for it and buy it, that doesn't mean substantial long lasting um, sales for this individual. So quickly, I will take, for example, one time, I actually, I think I recently saw on Jasmine's story or something that she posted and said that she made $27,000 in like 60 days or whatever. Okay. All she needs. And again, if the course is $500, all she needs is 54 people of her downline to purchase the course from her. Okay. She probably has that many people in her downline. So of course she's going to have high, high numbers immediately because she has a downline that's going to fall for this bullshit. Okay. But when it comes to consistency and people always buying it from her, I don't know if it's going to actually last because again, we have the first sales, which is what usually happens. For example, when you're in an MLM, right? The first people that buy from you are your friends and family because they want to support, right? After that, getting external sales and trying to get people to buy isn't always as easy. So I'm very interested to see if she's going to actually able to make this successful after. But realistically speaking, this isn't something that is a successful income for majority of people. It just, it's not. The whole course and what you're going to get with this course, we have put, five of us have put all of our tips, our marketing tips. And I know a lot of you guys have seen us and you guys love the way that we market. And so I okay, I'm going to tell you right now, pause. This is an individual that mimicked a fucking Kylie Jenner ad for one of her downlines, little get togethers um, and like directly copied it.
Their concept of marketing has been copying or posting cute photos. Them talking about they can give me marketing tips is the same thing as me saying I'm capable of parallel parking. Neither one fucking works. And this is, has been highly requested. I get this all the time. Like, can you put a marketing course together? Can you put a content course together? Can you do something? Can you mentor me on marketing? Can you mentor me on how to grow a brand and stuff? And like, it's been long overdue. And finally, we put something together that makes sense also within this industry, in the digital marketing industry, okay? And we put the income opportunity attached to it for those that do not know what to sell, okay? But if you already have an online business and you're an online entrepreneur, but you wanna elevate your marketing and branding game, we got you, okay? This is how I've been able to make 20 million plus in sales, guys, within the past seven years, okay? Within the past seven years, I've been able to make multiple six figures. Okay. okay, she's overshooting this. 20 million in sales when it comes to all of her MLMs that she's been a part of, she probably added all up. That's not revenue, that's nothing, okay? Like just, just so we fucking know, okay? She's overhyping this to give you the illusion that what she's selling is what will lead to that. No, in my opinion, from what we've seen, how she's made money off of these sales was having a downline. It wasn't actual sales. She doesn't actually own a company, right? She doesn't have a brick and mortar. She doesn't actually, you know what I'm saying? It's just being in an MLM, maybe affiliate marketing, and then selling you a random bullshit course. Figures online, okay? Multiple six figures online. Um, I've been able to get a gift to my mom, a Range Rover. I've been able to live in my dream home and I've been able to take care of my dad back home in Colombia for many, many years. And it's all because of the online world, okay? So there is a lot of possibility for the average person. I did not come from money whatsoever, you guys. I am a girl that literally did not like school. Um, my I only went to university because my mom, my mom wanted me to be somebody. So she, she her, her best thing in her head was like, you need a university degree. And so I dreaded it and I went and I didn't even go for online marketing. I went for freaking criminology, something totally different. And so I, I just seen the potential online. And uh, one thing that I really worked on was my marketing skills. Okay. How many of you guys have heard of digital marketing uh, recently? Type a one in the chat. Type a one in the chat if you guys have heard about digital marketing. Okay. And how many of you guys, have, like, let's be, let's get a little bit honest here. Okay. Let's be a little bit honest here. Okay. How many of you guys have seen the success? Like it's, it's a lot. Okay. It's like right in your face. It's like, you can't even miss it. Okay. And how many of you guys have had limiting beliefs that, wow, this is going to get super oversaturated ASAP. <laughs> No, and you guys are probably like, this is this is gonna be oversaturated, or if it's not yet, it's already is right now. Like it's over an oversaturated market. Okay. Suzette's like, if we're being honest, okay. Um, let me tell you guys something, okay? Uh, if you you if you want to stand out in an oversaturated market, here's how, okay? By removing that limiting belief, because there is no such thing as an oversaturated market when you have high paying income skills. Un I beg your biggest fucking pardon? What? No. If there's an oversaturated market and everyone's buying something, it doesn't matter if you're really, really good at it. If everyone's got it, there's no fuck. See, this is exactly why we can't take advice from everyone. You know what I mean? Not everyone, not everyone, not everyone needs to talk. You know what I mean? Not everyone needs to give advice. Not everyone needs to be a girl boss, TikTok crypto leader. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone needs to do that. Oh my God. <laughs> Understand that, okay? High paying income skills. What are high paying income skills? Branding, marketing, learning how to sell. Okay. But especially branding and marketing comes first because you can sell, but if you don't have a brand, if people don't trust you, if you, people don't love you, if people don't want to be like you, right, then there's no way that you're going to be able to sell to people. Right. Can we all agree? Can we type in one? Can we all agree? Right. So understand that. Yes, there is possibility for you to make a lot of money in this industry. You just have to grow these income skills. Right. So branding and marketing. And that's why we focus this course specifically on brand. Like you don't understand. We have given all of our tips. Me and Sabrina, we're looking at each other like we're really we're going to really have to innovate after this because the 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 branding tips, that the branding uh, methods that we use, it's very up to date. And guys, the world is always changing. It's always adapting. It's always innovating. Something new is always coming out. What worked last year on TikTok doesn't work. This year on TikTok, what worked last year on Instagram doesn't work. This year on, on Instagram, it's just always innovating. But guess what? We have uh, us five, we're really good at catching what's trending, like what just starts the what starts the trend. 
and we we have we have everything put into this course for you guys and like me and Sabrina were talking about we're like we're definitely gonna have to innovate after this and continue mm -hmm. to grow because we've literally given all of our sauce okay on marketing and branding you're gonna see the course race gonna break it down okay so branding marketing huge thing you are not in an oversaturated market market you just have to learn these skills okay second thing this is for the person that wants to get into the online world but they don't know what to sell like they don't know what to promote but they see a lot of opportunity don't worry we we have given mrr to this course for those of you who know what mr that's the biggest trend right now that's what's happening right now right so we've attached mrr to this course so you guys are able to Buy the course. Ah, pause. All right, I know what's going on. So they're selling you two courses. So they've quote made one. Fuck me sideways. Um, they've have one that's connected to that one lady I talked about in the first video. Okay. Then they have one that they made because they apparently have to make a fucking. Everyone has to make a course. Stop making the fucking courses. Stop making courses. Stop making courses. We have enough courses. It's so fascinating to me how this individual wants to talk about the world is ever changing and. La, 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 la. Okay, well then you would have, I would assume, pick up that literally TikTok is being used and utilized as a search engine, which usually gives the answers for a, a shit ton of stuff, like learning how to brand for free, by the way. YouTube does as well. There are people who have TikTok and YouTube channels dedicated to teaching you this kind of stuff. So in conclusion, per my previous email, you don't need this shit at all. But Goofy over here wants to sell you a concept so she can make a lot of money because she wants to prey on your lack of knowledge. Okay, that's why I'm annoyed at this. So they have two courses apparently. One that they didn't make, apparently now one that they did. Okay, my bad, whoopsies, forgot about that. So anyways, that's what they're selling to you. And when you buy the course, then you get the rights to resell it then and make money. This is the dumbest shit I have ever heard in my entire life. And resell it for 100% profit. We do not get anything from it. We don't get any commission. Okay, you guys buy the course. If you have, if you still don't know what you want to sell, what product, what digital product you want to put out there on your platform, you can literally resell this course and and get a hundred percent commission, not eighty percent, not ninety nine point nine percent, a hundred percent profit, not commission, profit. Okay, so that is an, a, a gift to the world that we like, a gift from us to the world. Um, our our mission in this digital marketing industry is to not just give you a course with MRR. Our mission is for you guys to take MRR and actually succeed with it. And the way that you're going to do that is through branding and marketing. Because like I said, there is no such thing as an oversaturated market when you have high income. There are certain things that you can't sell anymore because everyone bought. That is the world that we live in. Not everything is going to last. Not everything is going to work. And there are such things as oversaturated markets, okay? For example, there are certain brands where it's hard to get into because there are people who are monsters in that area and it might be very, very hard to get into. Not saying it's impossible, just saying it'd be hard to. Okay, so I'm just saying like there is such thing as an oversaturated mark. You could try, but I'm just like, that's not a very realistic approach to this. Now, here's the, what I will say. I don't think MRR is oversaturated. No, I don't. What I will say though, is it's new and kind of popping up more, I would say, but it is a dangerous new. It's not a good new. It's not something that you should get into. This is not a promised long lasting income. This is an unethical income at that. Sorry, but putting out numbers, I'm not sorry, but <laughs> putting out numbers and what people like you know i see it all the time people are putting a thousand a thousand dollars a thousand dollars today i don't care about your a thousand dollars if you're not showing me how you made that a thousand dollars can i get an amen can i get a number one in the chat okay because i see it all the time and if i'm gonna say i'm a, like myself i'm a multiple six-figure earner i'm not just gonna say i'm a multiple six-figure earner i'm gonna show the masses how i did it I'm gonna show the masses how I did it. If I'm gonna say I'm, I made $10,000 this month, this is exactly how. And you're gonna see once we launch how we're gonna market in this industry. Because we're not just gonna show you guys numbers and how much money we're gonna make. We're gonna, sorry, we're not just gonna show the numbers, we're gonna show you how we did it. Okay? Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. I'm sorry, I'm going off. This one's better than the last call. You guys are lucky to be on this call because today, I don't know what sparked, but today is a better call than the last call. Type one, one, <laughs> type one, one in the chat if you guys are super excited. So yeah, type one, let's go, let's go. I want to see the excitement because we haven't even launched yet, you guys. And I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bring up Dre. She's going to show you the whole course. 
Oh, wait, <laughs> I didn't even mention my favorite part of this course. Hold on, I'm, I'm bringing you up, Drake. Just hold up, hold up a second. And then we're gonna bring up my beautiful girl over here, Sabrina, okay? And, but let me just mention my favorite part about all of this, okay? So like I said, we, um, we were studying the, the industry and everything. And I'm just like, okay, this is such a freaking amazing business model. But the average person loves simplicity. The average person loves convenience. And you know, guys, how why I've made the amount of money that I've made? Because I've turned something over complicating into simple, okay? Into simplicity. I've turned something, and that's it's easy to overcomplicate things. You know what, what the hardest part is? Is simplifying an overcomplicating process. And so I'm like, let history repeat itself, okay? Because we're gonna take this course and we're going to simplify it. And the thing is, the average person, like I said, they want simple, they want convenience. And I'm sorry, but putting a funnel together is not simple. It is not for the tech savvy people like myself. I'm sorry. And that's what I've seen. I'm like, I'm the average person. I'm not, I do not want to put a funnel from scratch together. Like that is going to take me weeks and weeks and weeks. Guys, I've been in business for many, many years. Every time I've paid for someone to put a website together for me. I did not do it myself because I cannot do that. So I was like, wow, Dre, Dre is the technical person in this group, okay? So I'm like, Dre, there has to be a way where we can simplify this process of create, for people to create funnels so that they can have it up and ready to go within 24 hours. Like, is there any way, Dre, like that you can figure, I'm sure there's a way, there has to be a way. And Dre never fails. Dre always comes through. That's why I love my green, okay? So we're acting like simplicity when it comes to business and marketing is just fucking shocking and like they figured it out. You can have a website made very, very easy. There's literally programs like Wix, um, what's it called? Um, Squarespace, where you can literally create a website very easily on your own that literally have people that help you and like guide through. Like it's literally so simple. I used to work in that as well. There are literally, again, YouTube channels that will teach you, for example, how to grow a YouTube channel, how to learn to brand, how to learn marketing, Marketing, how to do affiliate marketing. That's literally a thing. There are little channels that will teach you how to do funnels. There are programs that are for this. So them acting like they've revolutionized it. No, they're trying to put a huge price talk on it though. So that way you buy it from them or acting like it's exclusive for them. It is not. Okay. And again, one thing I will say is I do like talking about simplicity when it comes to affordability and finding ways to make things happen. Again, I, as someone who does this for a living and my full-time income is YouTube, I learned everything I know now about that through literally fuck around and find out uh, on the internet. Like I'm being so for real, okay? And I would rather you gamble on the idea of getting free information from people and see and read the comments and people like, oh my God, this worked for me. This worked for me, la 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 la. Instead of buying a course from random goofies on the internet that costs money. Just, I'm just saying. Two templates in this course. One, a done for you funnel template. So if you are not creative, my friends, it doesn't matter because the template is there. It has been put together by creatives, okay? And it's there for you. You don't have to wait days and weeks to figure out how this is done. You can have it up and ready within 24 hours because the template is done for you. The second thing is you get the, the, the done for you webinar. You see the webinar where you guys registered on our pages? That is yours. That's a template. You can use that, okay? You see how we launched? Sorry, I'm like literally taking over this call, but you see, see how we launched? There is a method to that madness, okay? <laughs> There's strategy behind our launch. And guess what? You have a part of that too. We have put every, when I say everything that we have, that has helped us succeed in the online world, it's in the course. Okay, let me see, let me get, let's get Dre up here. Dre, come up here. You guys know who she is. If you guys don't, she is such a phenomenal person. I don't know what I would do without her because her technical brain, her green brain, I'm just like, she made all the videos and I'm like, oh, I could never, but this is why teamwork always makes the dream work. And I will never do things by myself. I will always do it with girls or guys that bring something different to the table. And we all leverage each other's strengths. That's how we work. And that's how we've always succeeded. And I hope you guys have the same values and the same morals as us, because that's exactly how you guys are going to win here when we work together as a team. So Dre, take it away. Hello, beautiful people. I'm back. I am back. Yo, Jazz was drinking some sort of juice tonight. Like she had a Red Bull. She got some wings. I don't know. If even she's she's on something tonight. So she's giving y'all that energy. And I'm super excited to dive in deeper because guys, we really wanted to make this different. We really wanted to for this to help you guys, no matter what business you're in. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the course looks like. Okay. But before I do that, I want to explain to you guys. Okay. This is for you. If you do anything online, it could be digital marketing. It could be selling a digital course. It could be having a brick and mortar business. Maybe you have a lash business. Maybe 
you have a beauty business, maybe you have a clothing business, it doesn't matter. Whatever business you have, you need a brand, okay? Maybe you wanna be a speaker, maybe you wanna be a coach, maybe you just wanna inspire people, maybe you don't know what you wanna do, but you wanna grow your brand so for the future, you have a brand, okay? Why is a brand so important? I always say a social media brand is an asset. Okay, they're completely right about this when it comes to marketing and making sure that you have everything organized and good to go. One thing I wanna say that's fucking hilarious to me, I was actually looking on Jasmine's website right here because it's the one that shows, you know, the master resale rights. So I really quickly, I wanna point out something that's super funny to me um, that's ironic considering they're professionals and know everything. Earn with Jazz, UBC with master resale rights, make passive sales with me, and you can join for $500. Wow, there we go. Um, let's go down to the below where it talks about bonus of funnel template. Oh no, you can find templates on fucking Canva and Etsy for crying out loud. Um, videos, community calls. Let's go down to the, um, let's go down to the refund policy. Isn't it so funny how their refund policy was last updated August 31st, 2023, yet it wasn't actually updated because the quotes enter company name here, which is usually what you see on a template for a website. She didn't fill it in. So how am I supposed to listen to you when your website right here still has the fillers and it's not even completely done. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that sounds so nice. That's so great. Love that. And so first I want to show you guys like, you know, Jazz was saying she didn't believe she didn't believe in this in the beginning. She's a little skeptical, Sally, as many people are. And I'm gonna show you guys what made her believe because I got into the digital marketing space and I was selling somebody else's course. OK, somebody else's course with master resale rights. Um, and literally, guys, in 11 days, who remembers what this number was yesterday? Literally in, in, in one day, you can see right here, 2,200 and 1,200. That's about 3,500 that I've made in literally less than 24 hours. Actually 24 hours, yeah, but less than that, okay? Literally. Guys, this is just to show you the possibility of what's available out there. This is the most money I've ever made in my entire life online. Online, okay? In the shortest amount of time. And, oh, I forgot to refresh. So you guys can see that it's real and it's not edited. I'm gonna refresh this. I post receipts all the time in my highlights because I know we got the receipts police all over the place, okay? But I'm gonna refresh because I can't edit the website, right? But just to show you guys what's possible. And the only reason, guys, the only reason that I was able to have success so quickly, $11,000 in 11 days, the only reason is because I already have three years of marketing and branding experience. I do not agree with that whatsoever. When it comes to the MLM space, it is happening because they have downlines and are able to share this kind of stuff. And I truly think that is what has impacted it. Now, this is the last 31 days, so I don't know how long this is gonna last for her. So again, let's say that, let, let's do the math, okay? Because this course is $500. Let's do 14,493 divided by 500. That's around, it would be around 28 to 29 people essentially that bought this is what I'm assuming. So that would be a part of somebody's downline very easily. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't think it has anything to do with actual marketing experience. This is something that is apparently being shared to downlines and things like that, which is allowing this individual to make income. So I, I find this very, very hard to believe. Now, again, I'm not saying it's completely impossible for her to sell this to a bunch of naive people. Absolutely. I'm just saying this immediate jump that you're seeing, in my opinion, is from having a downline that she can share it to, right? I think this is the intro high. And we're also not witnessing at all the ups and downs and ebbs and flows of business in general, the times where things are successful. Additionally, one thing I want to point out as well, they are, one thing I will say is they are hitting a point in the time of the year, you know, with the holidays where sales can kick up more, things will happen more, etc. You know what I'm saying? So you might see an increase because of holidays, people buying more things, etc. However, I don't think that this is sustainable income for everyone. If we think about the average day person, not everyone knows how to run social media, not everyone has the capacity, not everyone wants to. Also, not everyone wants to just sell a course. And also, we don't even know exactly what's truly valuable and good in this course. You know what I'm saying? So I I feel like this is being very, very overhyped to you guys for a course that has a bunch of shit you can learn off of YouTube. Experience. I've been doing online business for over three years. I've made six figures in network Mark, not if I'm even allowed to say that in network marketing, okay? So I've already built up my brand for over three years. So I already knew what it was. Remember, I told you your brand elevates anything else that you do. So my brand appreciated this business, this digital marketing business, right? So this is what I put into the course. My sauce, but not only my sauce, Jasmine sauce, Sabrina sauce, Cassie sauce, Melody sauce, all the sauce that we use to build up our network marketing business, to build up our brands. When I first started, I had 2,000 followers on Instagram. Now I'm almost at 30,000 right? And I've made a lot of money from social media. So this is why I've had success. So 
This is why I think, just like Jess said, so many people are having success. It's because they learned how to market. So what we did is literally put everything, every last drop of what we know in a course for you guys. Okay, because we know in order to succeed, this is what you need. You need to know how to brand. You need to know social media to succeed in anything online. But guys, I just want to let you know that people pay over $175 a month to get coaching from us in our other business. And you get it here for a one-time price. You only pay once. There's no upsells. There's no extra fees. There's no nothing. One time, 500 bucks. And you get access to the course and the coaching. And there's going to be more. Okay. As I said, as I always say, but wait, there's more. You get access to the community. Okay. This is the bread and butter of what you're getting. This is the course. Yes, but they open up the branding section. So they see. <laughs> uh, I, girl, it's going to take 24 hours to load. Okay. But I'll try. Um, but I have them open. I got, I got a three open over here, but I didn't open branding. But Jasmine did high quality branding. Okay. Jasmine did this section. As you guys see, it's still loading. But Jasmine did that section. She is so good at branding. As I told you guys, we have a whole section on funnel building, which I'll open in a second. We have a whole section on how to launch. Okay. How to launch. I think that is this section. We have a six step method on how to launch anything. Okay. If you have another business, you can use this for any other business that you have. If you're launching a new product, if you're launching a new business, use this. A six step method with a PDF. Okay. With an entire PDF you can download. Okay. Let me go back to here. We have um, how to launch Instagram. TikTok. Okay. TikTok has a lot of videos too. I opened up TikTok over here. Look at all these videos under each module. There's a whole bunch of videos under TikTok, right? Look at all these videos that are all going to go step by step. Hey, look at this. As we're literally scrolling through the entire process and this course, it's so ironic how, again, as I've said, every single bit of this information can be found through YouTube and TikTok. Documenting versus creating, that absolutely is can be found on TikTok. How to create bingeable content, that can be found on TikTok. TikTok bio, again, there are people that literally make an income where they make creating attention grabbing TikTok videos. I'm sorry, but half of these individuals that I I've seen that create their TikTok content. I'll pop up some examples for you. Some of these individuals that will create TikToks, they will make stuff that is false advertising, completely bullshit, and also violently bland. They're not actually following trends. I'm going to pop up examples for you. They're okay. They're very mainstream, and they're also stuff that you usually find in the sketchy, scammy, crypto, you know, course area, which I've literally talked about on my channel before, that is a huge problem. So, in conclusion, again, majority of this bullshit I'm being shown is not worth it. Different things that you need to know to succeed on TikTok. Guys, Mel and Sabrina have built, like, so, have literally gotten, I don't even know if it's probably more than two, 3,000 plus leads off of TikTok for their businesses. And they're teaching you step by step. You know why I love this course? Because I suck at TikTok, okay? I'm not good at TikTok, but guess what? You get to leverage not just my knowledge, but everybody's knowledge. So you know who's good at TikTok? Mel is good at TikTok. Sabrina's good at TikTok. Jasmine's good at TikTok. I'm not gonna TikTok, but I'm good at other things. I'm good at systems, okay? So me, hold on. Me, I did the funnel building section, right? Because I'm good at systems. So we all have different things that we're good at. Okay, the, the HQ branding finally loaded. This is Jasmine's section, section, okay? All these steps on high quality branding, okay? Uh, how not to be cringy, something Jasmine's very good at, okay? Not being cringy, right? So all of these things are included in the course. Let's go through it. Instagram, TikTok, content creation. Some of you guys are going to need just a few tips on how to even take a good photo. Like there are some tips that I learned when I first started network marketing. It changed the game for me. I was like, no wonder influencery photos look so influencery because there's tips and tricks, right? Email marketing, attraction marketing, being efficient, how to stay organized, reels, VLLO and CapCut. These are my two favorite video editing apps, okay? That oh my God. Every fucking thing that I'm seeing on here is literally accessible on the internet. This is the biggest waste of your money. And this is also the biggest waste of your money as well if you're part of a multi-level marketing company, okay? There is accessible information literally anywhere. If you're someone who wants to learn about affiliate marketing, you do not need this. And also I'm, I'm getting so frustrated because literally there's so many people who are naive in the MLM system that are in the downlines of these individuals who genuinely think buying this is going to be so incredible and transformative. It's literally going to put you in the negatives for $500. Honestly, maybe you're able to sell to some people. Okay, cool. Is it actually going to last though? And also it's not worth the money that you're investing in. You can literally get all this information for completely for free. I'm just like, I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit stuff being shared to you guys. Value videos. Okay. This one is a deezed out one too. If you guys follow me, all the, I created this section. It probably has like 10 videos in there all about how to edit value videos. Like every little thing that I do when I edit a value video, how to find topics how to write topics all of that selling online mindset and daily method of operations and guess what if you guys join today 
If you guys join before our launch tomorrow, you get access to our French and our Spanish version, which is not launched yet. It should be launched, I think, French within a week and a half. And then Spanish is going to take a little bit longer than that. But if you join, you will get full access to French and to Spanish if you join before our launch tomorrow. So what does that mean? You can, okay, good. Okay, sorry. So I know Miami Wi-Fi. I don't know why. Me, one thing I got issues with is Wi-Fi every time, no matter where I live. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the sections, right? So in each of these modules, there's multiple videos for you guys to watch. And then when you open this funnel building section, this is my favorite part because obviously I'm a geek and I love building funnels. It, you see the little gift emoji? You get two funnel templates. Guys, completely done for you. All you got to do is follow the steps. And these steps are not long. You can see it's one minute videos, three minute videos, two minute videos, four minute videos. There's step that you got to follow. Exactly. Two to four minute videos are things that you can find on TikTok that you do not need to purchase. But imagine spending $500 on a couple minute videos of things that you can find for free on TikTok. Are they actually gonna update this consistently? Because if not, again, they literally clearly said themselves at the beginning, Instagram, TikTok, and many other platforms change very frequently. Algorithms change very frequently. If you are someone who's genuinely trying to learn this for any actual reason, you want to follow accounts on social media that literally are dedicated to teaching you this stuff and keeping the information up to date. This is not helpful because if it's gonna age out anyways, then you would rather stick with the free information. Like there's, there's so many negatives to this. Like I'm so, tired of this shit. A lot of the times, a lot of people were watching us from the outside, maybe from another network marketing company, like Dre said, maybe from another business model and, and all, always wanted to get access to our songs, but because we would only always coach people within our business, which is network marketing, we were never able to really give all of our sauce. And now when this trend came across and we started to see it, we were like, yo, we got to get on this trend, but let's be real. A lot of people, let's face it. A lot of people start this trend, but unfortunately don't see success. Why? Because a lot of people are missing the branding part. And the truth is, the truth being is, if you're trying to scale your business right now, whether that being a new business, network marketing, you have a product or service, your 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 last check, whatever the case may be, in 2023, a social media presence is a must. It's not maybe I should do it. One thing I want to say very quickly that I think is fascinating, and this is just an example of the many cases of this, when we have an individual that is giving such a long presentation, and again, I would like to let you guys know, this call is over an hour long, okay? This makes no sense. Majority of people who have real lives, you know what I mean? Have work, have shit to do. They don't have an opportunity to sit on a call for an hour most of the time. And so for people to constantly be repeating themselves and keep dragging the shit off, that, that, that makes, like, that sounds like you have no concept about your target demographic or market if you're making a call last so long and repeating yourself on stupid shit. If anything, you should be working on a presentation that's clear, concise, and getting your information out there. But I don't know. I feel like they're really working hard to convince you and prove to you that this is really worth it. And they're doing an absolutely horrific job on this at that. So I'm actually going to stop this right there. That was a little bit of the call of what the MLM side is doing. So let's kind of wrap this up and talk about why this is a problem. Okay. Number one, these courses are full of a bunch of bullshit. Okay. Most of this information, as I've repeated myself many times, can be found on TikTok, YouTube, you name it. Again, I have learned so much from my agency. I've learned stuff like, which I'm very fortunate for. I've learned so much from literally digging into things on my own. Uh, starting as a teenager and utilizing uh, Google. Like I'm being so for real. Majority of people forget that we have access to such incredible information on the internet and it's only getting better. I feel like throughout the years, there's more people that are like dedicated to creating amazing channels, you name it, that are providing really good information. Two, there are people in the MLM industry that I think we need to be really cautious of who will try and get you with this, okay? They're selling this as a really amazing opportunity to make money. When realistically speaking, selling a course like this with a bunch of mundane bullshit stuff that you can find anywhere is not going to last. And also the price is not very realistic for majority of people. I know they're talking about, well, it's a one-time offer and people would spend so much more money. Not necessarily. This is stuff that you can have access to literally in five seconds if you Google it or look it up on YouTube and you don't need to spend $500. And logically speaking, for people who don't really know how to grow on social media and everything, and even if they do, even if they do and try to sell this, there's no guarantee that someone's gonna look at a $500 course and think, ooh, that's good. Especially in the economy we're in right now, now, people want to learn about ways of making money. However, spending, I think $500 on a course sounds very unrealistic. And additionally, another point I want to make as well is these individuals don't show any qualifications. Okay. There's no individual showing like, oh my God, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is what I've done to be able to show you that I have good information, right? Like they've talked about being in network marketing, but from the very clear examples that I have on my channel, they've had a very poor success. They've been very, very bad at it. If anything, manipulative and fucking awful to their downline. So it's an example 
critical of a lot of people that are selling you these courses that are evil, that are either pretty unethical and problematic, or they don't know what the fuck that they're doing and they're making up random courses in hopes that you will fall for this and just buy it. And last but not least, again, the people that are in the multi-level marketing world, the people are going to be losing a lot of money as well. Because again, like I said, they're already losing money in the multi-level marketing space, but additionally losing more money because your upline is encouraging you to purchase stuff is just so unethical and fucking ridiculous. Again, we've seen that in so many different cases from what I've talked about in the MLM space where top leaders will encourage people to purchase things and purchase inventory or do things that are not very ethical or following guidelines. And this is very problematic. One other thing I want to say is I wonder if this MRR stuff is violating the guidelines and policies of their MLM or if it could possibly violate the policies and guidelines of other MLMs, for example. That's something I'd have to dig into. But either way, this is a hot mess and something I would never recommend for anyone. And I think it's so disgusting how top leaders are promoting this absolute bullshit to their downlines who are already struggling financially. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out MD here in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.